this is a college book. See how thick it is? It's about 1,000 pages. Now, it looks powerful, right? Like it contains a lot of wisdom. Well, it actually doesn't. You see, college writers, they get paid by the word. So there's basically a lot of repetition in these types of books. I'm not putting this writer on the spot. I'm just saying that most college books are this thick and they contain very little knowledge. Hi, my name is Tom and I went to college. That's how I used to sound. But today it's more like, hi, I'm Tom. Yeah. I went to college. This video is gonna shock a lot of family members and a lot of friends of mine because I'm gonna say something that I actually never thought I would say. I regret going to college. I regret getting a degree at the university. I regret all of it pretty much. And I'm gonna explain in this video why. So if you have thoughts about going to college, be warned, this video will probably not make you wanna go to college. So I have a degree in business administration, which is basically economics. And my speciality is marketing. And the older I get, the more I realize what a worthless piece of junk it really is. I used to hang up my diploma on the wall. Now it's somewhere in the attic or something. I, I don't even care where it is, you know, honestly. So here's the thing. If you think that you need to go to college in order to be happy, you couldn't be more mistaken. I'm promising you that getting a degree, getting a good job, it's not gonna guarantee you to become happy. Happiness is something completely different that all people struggle with. It has nothing to do with money or college. In fact, I would say as far as my life is concerned, college made me a bit unhappy actually. And I'm gonna explain that in more detail in a couple of minutes. So first of all, I fell for the big myth that science and the world of academia is everything. Everything that we know is based, it's validated on science and hard academic truth. When the truth couldn't be further from it. There is some merit to science, but I'm gonna get into that also. But the myth of this whole thing became very clear to me when I was writing my master thesis. That's right, I don't actually have a master's degree because I quit college before actually finishing it. I just ended on a bachelor degree. Now, the reason I made this video is because it just makes me so sad when I hear about kids taking performance enhancing drugs to get into good colleges. Like, it's sad. Like, I would understand if they take it because they're miserable or unhappy, but no, they do it. Like, they're killing themselves to get into a good college that will just chew them up, spit them out into the world, and leaving them empty and miserable. Instead of being out there playing, enjoying life, they're working really hard to go to college. And there is a lot of problems with that, and I'm gonna explain to that in detail in this video. So, first of all, this whole thing is like a pyramid scheme, and it is sort of a circle argument because people who come from colleges, they become lawmakers, politicians, and bosses, and they in return will only hire people who come from college, and the pyramid scheme just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until somebody steps up to the plate and says it's all bullshit. So I'm just gonna tell you the truth, the way I see it, that college is a big hoax. It's a scam. Now, when I was a kid, my biggest dream in the world was to have a college degree. Like, my parents put that image in me. I think I was basically programmed to think that in order Order to have a good life, you have to have a college degree. And today I'm sort of like, nope, <laughs> that is not true. There are a couple of problems with college. The first being that when you make the decision to go to college, you are too young to know what you want to be doing with the rest of your life. You don't have any life experience. And so you're, you're su just supposed to pick up a trade and get a school loan to learn that. And it's very sad, especially considering the fact that everything that you can learn in college, you can learn online. Seriously, you don't need to pay anything. Like you can go to Skillshare, you can learn here on YouTube, you can just Google stuff, but everything is out there. All the books, even the one that I showed you, you can borrow it from the library and learn from it yourself. Now it is true that in order to get a job, you have to get a diploma, most of the cases, but not always. You see, something that companies value more over diplomas is experience and skill. These are two things that you can get on your own, things that colleges promise, but never actually guarantee. And the thing that I noticed about college is that everybody just studies to pass the test. They pass the test to pass the courses to get that diploma. It's all about the end game, getting that diploma. But it never ends, really. You know, you get a diploma, and then you get a job, then you just go higher and higher up. And all this really demonstrates, like, the type of people that go to colleges are people with good grades. Now, you might think it's because they're smart. Like, when I landed my first job after college, I felt that, oh, it's because I'm special. It's because I'm smart. No, it's really more because the boss who hired me also went to college, and they know that if if I passed all the tests, if I got that diploma, then I basically will do what I'm told. If you think about it, the people
people who do good in school are really just people who are the most obedient. Teacher says, student do. The students that don't, the students that want to think for themselves, who don't care about the grades, where they're not specially obedient, but the people who get straight A's, they are the most obedient people ever. They kill themselves trying to get that A, and companies love that. So you could say that the hardworking people of this society are the most obedient slaves in a wage slave society. One thing that I learned from college that I think was very good though was the importance of being source critical. But the problem is you have to be source critical about colleges themselves. For example, colleges rely on reputation and funding. And this is something that the pyramid schemes, I mean, basically everybody who goes to college goes to work and then promotes colleges and only hires people from colleges. So it's all just a big pyramid scheme. And this is a lie that is passed on from generation to generation. My parents went to college so they pushed this on me and if I had kids I would have probably pushed it on them. And the truth is that yes you do get a high-end job when you finish college most of the time but the problem is good jobs in the real work world they really just mean more responsibility and ultimately more work and it doesn't really actually provide happiness it just leads to that the satisfaction that you have a boss title or a specialist title of some kind you feel like you're special in a workplace but colleges rarely teach you things you need to become rich for yourself for example i studied economics you would think that i know how to start a business or how to grow rich or anything like that but no nothing the only thing I know is pretty much how to give value to a company because that's what schools do. They teach people how to work and that's pretty much it. It's kind of interesting to me that because a lot of lawmakers, politicians, and bosses come from colleges, they pretty much encapsulate the world into thinking that the world of academia is king. And they do that by locking in a lot of job opportunities. For example, you can't build a house if you're not an engineer. You can't do accounting unless you're a certified accountant. Most jobs don't rely on this. If you have the skills, if you know how to do it, if you have a little bit of experience, you'll get the job if that is important for you. Now also, I want to talk about the fact that science and the world of academia doesn't tolerate criticism. If you think about it, they teach you to be critical, but they don't teach you to be critical towards colleges because, well, they know everything, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Just try talking to a professor about epistemology or anything like that. The thing you have to remember about science and scientists mostly is that most scientists they actually do very little validation they mostly use different sources of information put them together and call it science but I can make a whole video about science and a criticism towards that this is not about that this is about college so let's just stick to that topic at hand I do see a lot of hope because if you think about it nowadays you don't need to go to college to learn things you can learn them on YouTube you can Google things you can go to platforms like Skillshare you can learn pretty much anything you want. Okay, so here's my story about how I quit college after realizing that it's just one big hoax. So I had just finished my bachelor thesis, so I had a degree, but I wanted to go to a master degree because bachelor, master, master sounds better. And when I was writing my master thesis, that's when it all just fell down for me. We had this professor, it was this German professor, and he just criticized me all the time. He didn't like my methods. I think he was mostly upset about how I quoted my sources. And the thing that upset me about that is I was basically doing the same thing that I did when I was writing my bachelor thesis. So I knew that I was right, but he kept saying that I wasn't. And this just made me think like, but I don't get it. Like there is a ton of science papers out there that source things just the way I did. So now you're saying that I'm, I can't do it like that. That. And this whole thing, it just got me into this grudge match. I just wasn't gonna let it slide, you know, because the, the world of academia is very ruthless. If you argue against a professor, you're always gonna lose. But I was just tired of that. I wasn't gonna take it. I was gonna say what was on my mind, you know? Because truth be told, that is actually what college did teach me. A large portion of college is this part where you have to criticize other people's papers. And the more critical you are, the higher the grade, which is kind of fun 
funny because to this day nobody has actually asked to see my grades so the chase for higher grades in college was pretty much pointless but I remember that people would just throw you under the bus just to get a good grade and I remember that professors were basically encouraging this type of behavior and it was just so sad and I saw this behavior in the workplaces afterwards like people from college a lot of times they're just assholes you know but this professor I wasn't gonna take it I was gonna argue against a professor as you can assume it didn't end very well and I dropped out and I was very disillusioned with the whole world of academia it was a shame because that first year in college was actually a lot of fun I felt a lot of camaraderie I felt like I was special I was even sad for a couple of years after college eventually I got over it but I was stuck in this high-end job as a professional specialist as a consultant and um, I've never really gotten out of it and if I could go back to change things I probably wouldn't because who knows how my life would have ended up had I not gone to college the job that I have right now I don't like it I would like to quit but I have all of these mortgages these loans like student loans for one and I just can't just up and leave like go to Thailand and be a bartender. I just can't do that. And so I'm pretty much a wage slave, you know? Now, sure, you earn a lot more. I have a nice house. I have a lot of toys and stuff like that, but like people don't realize it, but everything that you can obtain, it gets old really, really fast. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I would rather suffer from having too much than suffer from having too little. It's not all that good having a lot of money. I'm just saying. But as I said, there is still hope. Nowadays, you don't need a college degree to learn things like you can actually google stuff you can watch youtube videos you can go to skillshare you don't really need a college degree to be happy happiness is like a whole different thing but i think that a lot of people who apply to college is because they think it will make them happy and i'm here to tell you no it's absolutely not guaranteed. Like if you have a clear goal and a vision, you know what you want and you would need a college degree to get to that point, then I say go for it. But remember that people change. You might find something interesting right now, but in a couple of years, you might not be interested in it anymore. You know what I mean? I just wanted to share my life experience when it comes to colleges. Hope it gave you something. And if you have some thoughts, leave it in the comment section below and I'd be happy to read them. Okay. That's all I have for today. I'll see you in the next one.